This man was a mysterious prisoner. He's a janitor in the prison. But when he came back to his cell, he would train his muscle with a bucket of water, and practice with the bag of sand. The warden also had to pull some punches to him. Knowing this prisoner had to be a janitor, the warden said so that... The more we're gonna get a better cell, we're gonna be working at the prison right there. No. Unexpectedly he refused, and also brought out a crazy request. He wanted to attend the contest in the prison. The prisoner was Boykahe was the king fighter here, but in a match a failed, and also seriously injured. From a king fighter he became a janitor. Now Boyka refilled his spirit, and wanted to come back. The warden accepted this. Boyka observed the strongest rival Vladimir. His moves were so devilish his rival had no chance to revoke. A kick of him could made the rival disable. Back to the cell Boyka increased his practicing. Regardless the wound Boyka tried to improve his technique. Today's time came, Boyka cut his hair also cut the humiliation. Getting to the arena Boyka splashed the water to Vladimir, and stared at him with fierce eyes. Vladimir decided to revoke. When the match began Boyka defended, and adapted the pace of the match. He waited for a chance and attacked to the throat of Vladimir, that made him hurt and stepped back. Then Boyka had more excellent punching hook, made Vladimir cough up blood. Finally Boyka gave a kick and said goodbye to Vladimir, the strongest one was defeated. After the match the warden brought Boyka to another cell. There were seven criminals from seven different countries. They were all fighter, so there would be an international contest in this prison. The international wardens, could bring the strongest fighter of his prison to join this contest. The prize for winner would be very nice, and the prize for the champion was his freedom. But Boyka realized this contest was only a trap, because all the prisoner only have one hour to practice. They also had to work at a stone quarry. How can they fight then? There was only the Colombian prisoner Raul had different treat. Everyone worked and he read book in the shadow. Boyka only could practice with sandbag. Raul had the trainer with him. It's clear that the organizer bet all in him, and wanted him to get the championship. The first round came, Boyka realized a serious rival, a black American named Turbo. When the match started he seemed to be underdog, but after Fab got the pace, and provoked for the rival attack. He looked like being defending, but actually he attacked with his elbow. Turbo stopped all the moves of his rival and revoked, and punched to his face. Finally a powerful punch to finish. This is the method of dominate the moves with the silence. Turbo won, the next one was Boyka's. When he started he used continuous punches to dominate the rival, and also many kicks to his supporting leg, and finished with the overknee. The rival had no chance to fight back. This match Boyka overwhelmed, he stepped out of the arena. The last one was Colombian fighter Raul. He was the most fierce one of this arena. Everyone called him death. How was he? The rival crazily attacked him, but he could fend off attacks so easily. Actually Raul didn't respect the rival. When he felt so boring to let the rival punch him, he didn't weave let the rival attack him, after Thad provoked. Raul grabbed his hair and slapped. Then there were continuous kicks, and finish with a back kick. Death should be the death. After the match, the loser would be brought to a vacant lot, and said that there were people picking them up, but, actually, they would die. After the first round of the tournament, Raul and Boyka came to the next round. That day, at the quarry, Turbo came to Boyka, and pricked him. Boyka said nothing and answered him with actions. Turbo wasn't angry, he only smirked, and attacked Boyka. Regardless the tied legs, they fought. As a result, the policemen stopped them. They had to be put in the dark rooms. Some days later, Boyka met the warden, and told him what happened. The warden got angry and came to see the organizer. He said that, as long as Raul won, and Boyka failed, the warden also would have money. The power of money made him sell Boyka down to the river. Some days later, Boyka and Turbo got more punishments. They had to eat the ragged food. Only some buns. They knew that they were the targets. So they decided to have the truce. If they didn't give them time to practice, they could take advantage of time at the quarry to practice. They pushed their power while working. Even carrying stones helped them to practice. The old wound of Boyka relapsed. Turbo secretly had him some herb, and said that would help Boyka to treat his wound. Seeing the raising spirit, and the enthusiastic practicing of them, the organizer felt worried. That day, the warden came to see Turbo, and attacked him. On the next day, when Boyka was having breakfast, he didn't see Turbo. Boyka came to Turbo's cell and found him wounded. Now he could not even sit. The rival of him would be Raul. This was the death of prison, Raul. His strong point was big blasting. So fast, so furious. And the more scary thing is his moving. It looked like dancing but this helped him much in moving. Any rival of him would be unlucky. Then the rival of Raul Turbo has no power to fight. If he tried to fight he would be dead. Boyka decided to help him. At the quarry when the foreman was peeing, Boyka tried to break the chain between their legs. But when the hammer was broken the chain stayed still. Then the foreman found out their conspiracy. All the police came. Luckily they didn't have guns Turbo could fight against them. 
They are not the rivals of Boyka and Turbo. Boyka caught a foreman and got the key from him. Boyka helped Turbo to open the lock Turbo ran to the mountain peak. Suddenly a foreman with gun came. Boyka threw a stone to him and made him fall. Seeing Turbo was safe he sighed. Thena police came and make Boyka fainted. When he got up he was tied up. To let the contest continue organized decided to let Boyka replace for Turbo. The warden also admitted that he sold him out. The prize of 5 million dollars was on Raul. This made Boyka angry. He decided to get the championship this time. The match came. Raul bring his strength into play. And fought against Boyka. Raul kicked into Boyka's face. And a punch to let Boyka cough up blood. Now that's Boyka's turn. He wanted to brush him off. But the rival caught his leg and attacked his old wound. Boyka screamed in pain. And tried to stand up. But he got more punches and kicks from Raul. He lied on the floor. When everyone thought that it's clear to determine the winner. Boyka tried to flip away. He saw the cleaning tools. And remembered the time he had to be a janitor. And other people call him king of toilet. Boyka crawled to the broom. He cover his wound. Boyka was back to the match. His eyes was full of murderous air look. Greater than he shut Raul down. And crazily punched him. One for me, the same for you. Boyka locked him up and punch. Now, Boyka didn't need his life anymore. The wound, the pain in his mind. All became the power in his body. The punch put in Raul's body. Finally, he shut the king fighter down. After that, Boyka pointed to the warder. And left. Boyka has got his freedom. But there was no prisoner can survive to left the arena. The warden held the gun to deal with Boyka. A shotgun came but the dead one was the warden. One by one, the policeman fell down. The savior was Turbo. Turbo guided Boyka to escape, there was a car waiting for them. The door opened, that's his warden. Actually, he always was in Boyka's side. He said so to excite him only. Because he knew that no one can stop him if he got mad. After that, Boyka told Turbo the truth. And said goodbye to him. Boyka stepped alone on the wide road. He smiled and ran faster and faster. The freedom was waiting for him ahead.